just in, Muslim congresswoman caught in sick crime. Should she go to prison? With Obama gone, good riddance, Democrats are so desperate for leadership, they fawn and drool over any mildly charismatic non-white Democrat who comes their way. One of their latest darlings is Somali congresswoman, Alhin Omar, of Minnesota. Omar has some serious skeletons in her closet that are haunting her and the Democrat Party. It turns out that she married her own brother in a scheme to fool U.S. immigration officials and supported refugee fraud in her state. Omar is exactly what the modern Democrat Party loves. Ethnically diverse, non-white, female, Muslim, and politically devoted to socialism. She also takes constant jabs at President Trump just because it's the cool thing to do. Recently, Omar appeared on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah in the dying program's latest effort to remain relevant. Noah spent the entire segment putting Omar on a pedestal. For a Muslim, the Minnesota congresswoman certainly has no sense of humility. She said of herself, I am America's hope, and Trump's nightmare. Hilarious. She actually has the nerve to call herself America's hope? There's no doubt she's angling for a presidential run in 2020. Some people are so obvious. But what Noah left out of the discussion was the deep corruption in Omar's personal and political life. She has so many skeletons in her closet, it's basically a catacomb at this point. And the Democrats try to sweep it all under the rug. That's because of how disgusting the truth behind Omar is. America's first Muslim congresswoman practices bigamy. She is living with one man while being married to another. The worst part? The man she is legally married to is her own brother. Omar got together with Ahmed Hersi in 2002. Despite claiming to be a practitioner of Islam, she had no problem shacking up with Hersi and having three kids with him out of wedlock. Then, they abruptly separated in 2009. The reason? Omar married her brother, Ahmed Noor Said Elmi. Alhin Omar married her brother, who was living in the UK, so that they could trick US immigration officials and bring him to the US. That's sick. Marrying your own family and doing it for the sake of subverting the law? That's a specialty of Somali refugees like her. Thousands of Somalis lied about having family in the U.S. in order to receive entry as immigrants. Omar's response to the widespread refugee fraud was predictable. She claimed it was nothing more than racism and Islamophobia being perpetrated by right-wingers. Naturally, as an immigrant born and raised in Somalia, she has greater loyalty to that country than she does to America. The Democrat Party has become the party of America haters. These are people like Omar who hate our culture, history, language, and way of life. They're willing to break the law to move their anti-America agenda forward. Should Ilhan Omar be tried for immigration fraud? Share this story on Facebook and let us know because we want to hear your voice.